Anyway, I wanted to show these little 1958 D wheat scents off. Crack these open out of a roll. Nothing really major here. You know, they look, you know, your standard MS Red. But the thing with these are is we're going to add a little light here. And let's see what's going on the other sides. Ooh. Get up there. I'm working on this light thing, and I can't really get it too hot, too good, I guess. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, look at the toning on that Morgan. Isn't that pretty? It's like somebody burned it. Is that Bernie? Bernie burned that? Bernie? Did you burn this, Morgan? <laughs> anyway, uh, did a little trade, and this was one of the Morgans that I got. But anyway, I traded a bunch, uh, got into a bunch of wheat rolls. And these are the enders on this particular roll. And then here, on this roll, this, is, this was a mystery roll. I took a chance, cracked it open, because it was, both ends were showing weeds. Good old weed ears. But look at these little puppies. They're just gorgeous. But, I've got a bunch more that i got to like, figure out what I'm going to do. Whether I'm going to crack them open, or if I'm going to let them go, or what. But anyway, these are really neat. You can just tell, you know, this whole dark outer edge is blue, dark blue, to reds. Then it goes to more of an orange. But these were all in, these four are enders, and they're just neat. But here's one that I really like. This is a one that I picked out on my own, 1935D. But catch the greens and the blues and the reds, the purples, orange, indigo, khaki, tomato, whatever you want. I think pretty much every color is in that coin. I think this might have been an end or two because of the lining on the outside of the coin where the paper was up against on the outside edge but on this side it would leak through but this side would have been exposed and that's one thing that's really neat I'll see if I can't get it to show up on this but anyway you know you see the reverse and it's just blast red but the neat part is is the rim to me you know it's it's toned up dark blue to red and that's you know that's what was showing but anyway I just wanted to share this with folks this has probably gone on long enough oh yeah here you go I don't know if you can see that good or not but if you look these are three war nickels that I purchased here a while ago just bought them out of the junk crap that they had but if you look see notice how it looks like it's copper colored or pink pinkish orange it's weird I've never seen this on a war nickel before I don't know what it is well I've never seen it on any other silver coin period where it's just pink like that a little better. 1943. And a good old San Francisco. Date are you? 1943. Nope, sorry, that was 44. 
and this one here has got the same thing. 43 San Francisco, 44 San Francisco, 43 Denver. But anyway, if anybody's ever seen this on a silver coin like that, where it's, you know, just turning pink, pinkish orange, uh, I wish that would show up. But anyway, uh, we have gone on long enough. But uh, yeah, anyway, I know there are only 58 Ds, but the toning on them is just killer. Oh, God, are they killer. And that 35D, that's a good coin. But anyway, thank you all. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Everybody be safe. Everybody be happy. Hope everybody gets great news about something. All right, folks. We'll talk to you later. Ta-ta.